What's going on? It's KC from kc-sounds.com. So today's video is part four of the mixing vocal series. First part, we spoke about clip gain, just to make certain parts quieter or louder. Part two was subtractive EQ. Video three was using a compressor to help your vocals sit in the mix. Video four, which is this one, is all about using effects to make your vocals sound interesting, more interesting, because without the vocal, without any effects on there, it's gonna sound dry. I don't mean you're dry as an artist, I just mean the vocals will sound dry. You know what I mean? So let's jump in. So for this vocal, I've got a delay and a reverb. So I just wanna show you two things with this delay and reverb. First of all, with the, uh, with the reverb, <laughs> reverb. <laughs> with the reverb, what I've done is just EQ'd it in certain places. So if I just play the vocal without the effects, you hear it dry, then I'm gonna bring the reverb in so you can hear it. Them. What's viable than a peace of mind? No item. I'm a day one vet and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Family's on a mind, you should think the same. Man of ego. So I've EQ'd it in certain places just so it fits in with fits in with the rest of the song. So I'll just boost what I've cut out so you can hear why I've done it. If them, what's viable than a peace of mind? No item, I'm a day one vet and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Family's on a man, you should think the same. Man of ego tripping on a road to fame. I'm retro traditional, keep it kind of old school. If you ain't thinking the same wave, don't roll through. Only roll with the light minded. We've been struggling for years. So you get the idea, you get the picture. I'm just going to play it and I'm going to keep bringing the A and B in the reverb. So I'm bringing it in and out so you can hear what it's doing. Then I'm gonna boost it and then pull it back so that you can't really hear it, but you can just feel it. If him, what's viable then a piece If him, what's viable then a piece of mine? No item, I'm a day one vet, and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Family's on a mind, you should think the same. Man of ego tripping on a road to fame. I'm retro traditional, keep it kinda old school. If you ain't thinking the same wave, don't roll through. Only roll with the light minded. We've been struggling for years now. We bro, tell me that my time's coming. Got ambitions, I need to drive them. What's viable than a peace of mind? No item. I'm a day one vet, and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Family's on a mind, you should if you're listening on headphones or quality monitors, you would hear the difference when I take the re turn the reverb off. Like some people don't want to hear reverb, some people like it to sound a bit more dry. For this mix, I felt like it works where it is now. Um, if you wanted to, you don't have to have that much reverb. Some rappers don't like reverb at all on their vocals, they just have a uh, slap delay just tucked in, but this just gives it a sense of space. So we've got our reverb, let's move on to the delay. So, got the nice little Manny delay here, it's in, on the quarters. And there's two things you can do with the delay. Not two, there's more than two, obviously, but uh, for me, how I like to work is I either use a compressor to sidechain, so that when whenever the vocals is going, it's stucking down the delay, and then when he, they stop, then the delay will like, burst out, so you hear it. Or you can use automation on the delay and just have it on the end parts or wherever you want it to be on your vocals so i'll just show you how it will work with sidechain bro tell me that my time's coming got ambitions i need to drive them what's viable than a piece of mine no item i'm a day one vet and my brain's on check i got a bag of skills yeah i can't hide them Family's on the mind, you should think the same. Man of ego, man of ego. So you can hear you can hear the delays there when he's rapping, but it's, it ain't really getting in the way. If you feel like it's getting in the way of the vocal, then all you need to do is maybe just turn it down a bit or compress it a bit more or just use an EQ so that the, the frequency of the delay isn't the same as the vocals. So I'm just gonna turn off the compressor so you can hear what the delay will sound like without the side chaining. Bro, tell me that my time's coming. Time's coming. Got ambitions, I need to drive them. What's viable than a piece of mind? No item. I'm a day one vet, and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Family's on the mind, you should think the same. Man of ego, man of ego. So you hear the difference 
without the, the side chain it sounds like the vocal and the delays are fighting for space and you don't want that that just sounds amateur and you're not amateur or at least that's you you get into that level so yeah start using a side chain delay side chain on your delays you can use side chain and more or less anything really but just to keep it simple we're going to keep it on the delay for now so the other thing i mentioned was you can use delay on certain specific parts of the vocals so i'll show you how i do that normally there's two ways <laughs> so what i like to do is put put automation into latch and then actually let me just turn it off bring my delay down take the compressor off because we don't really need that then turn latch on let it play bro tell me that my time's coming got ambitions i need to drive them what's viable then a peace of mind mind so that might be a bit too loud yeah so what i do is i turn off latch put into read mode and then turn automation on it might seem like a long way to do it but sometimes i just prefer to do it that way we all have our, our own little ways of doing things so now that's brought up the automation what's it called the automation for the delay so you can easily just use your marquee tool to highlight the area that you want the delay to kick in Bro, tell me that my time's coming. Got Let's have it on time's coming. Time's coming. That reverb sounding a bit loud, ain't it? Bro, tell me that my time's coming. Time's coming. Got ambitions, I need to drive them. What's viable than a piece of mind? mind. No item. I'm a day one vet, and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Hide them, you sound good, I think. And let's, yeah, let's just run. Bro, tell me that my time's coming. Bro, tell me that my time's coming. time's coming. Got ambitions, I need to drive them. What's viable than a peace of mind? mind? No item. I'm a day one vet, and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Family's on the mind, you should think the same. Man, an ego tripping on a road to fame. I'm retro. Yeah, so you get the idea. I'm not feeling that reverb, if I'm honest. I think it sounds a bit too high end, <clears throat> a bit thin. This is. See what that sounds like. Bro, tell me that my time's coming. Time's coming. Got ambitions, I need to drive them. What's viable than a piece of mind? mind? No item. I'm a day one vet, and my brain's on check. I got a bag of skills, yeah, I can't hide them. Family's on the mind, you should think the same. Man, an ego tripping on a road to fame. I'm retro traditional, keep it kind of old school. If you ain't thinking the same wave, don't roll through. Yeah, I like that. I think it's sounding cool. That's just that's just a couple of ideas <clears throat> for you to use reverb. Let me just go back to the reverb. Let's just quickly show you the reverb. So on this reverb, I've got a 24 millisecond pre-delay. 1.5 seconds reverb tail. I need these on. So some people like to use actual pre-delay counters because if you if you have it timed correct, then the reverb will it will add to the actual mix. 1.5 seconds might be a bit too long, if I'm honest. I don't know why I've got it on 1.5 seconds. I obviously didn't use a calculator on that one. Calculate your reverbs, calculate your delays just so that it, it pumps in time with your actual mix. Same with the pre-delay. The pre-delay, if I put that down onto zero, as soon as the artist says something, the reverbs is just gonna go straight away. And that's that ain't natural. That's not normal. Unless that's what you're going for. So with the 24 second pre 24 millisecond pre-delay, it means that after the artist has said something, 24 milliseconds later, the reverb's gonna kick in. So then it creates a sense of space behind the actual vocal, which is nice. You know I mean it's a nice little tip for you. You can do that with any reverb, most reverbs. If the reverb hasn't got a pre-delay on it, all you need to do is just drop an actual delay plugin before the reverb and you can use use it that way like eighth note quarter notes half notes whatever it is you're, you're trying to calculate whatever it is you're trying to use for that particular reverb and that particular mix hope that makes sense if it doesn't just drop a comment below and i'll do my best to make it a bit more clearer that's pretty much it for that video um part four this mixing series showing you how to use some effects just to make it a bit more interesting a bit more professional sounding. Be sure to hit me up on Instagram. I'm always posting up little tips and tricks that I don't always post on YouTube because they're too small or just don't have the time to do it. And if this video has helped you at all, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime I upload something new. 
And as per usual, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. Music is life. Peace. Thank you.